Plans to drive a new high-speed rail line through the heart of England are driving a wedge through the heart of the Conservative Party. MPs are due to debate it tomorrow. The new track between London and Birmingham goes through ten Conservative constituencies. The Prime Minister has a fight on his hands to persuade his party to back it. Our senior political correspondent Chris Shipp reports. The Europeans have lots of them, but in the UK we have just one high-speed train line. Tomorrow, MPs will debate plans for a second one, a £32 billion project to which the Prime Minister has given his full backing. The proposed route of the high-speed line shows it comes out of a long tunnel and into the Buckinghamshire countryside just over there. And it is here that David Cameron's project not only runs into environmental and economic opposition, there is a real political headache here too. In Wendover, for example, the line goes through these cottages. So it's six houses in total. So it goes through the front room of this house? Yes, it does. These are Tory shires, but they are spoiling for a fight. Yeah, I may be past middle age, little old housewife from Wendover. Don't believe that we don't have the power and the conviction to fight it. If built, a train would run every 90 seconds through the Chilterns and beyond. Of the 18 local authorities along the route who oppose it, 17 are Conservative ones. There is a strong sense of betrayal around here in terms of what the coalition government has inherited from the previous Labour government. This is a massively expensive prestige project. Phase one of the route runs from London to Birmingham. Further lines are planned towards Liverpool and Leeds. The first stage slices through the constituencies of ten Conservative MPs, every one of them opposed. They include the Speaker John Burko and in the Cabinet the Welsh Secretary Cheryl Gillan. Foreign Office Minister David Liddington is also opposed. And leading the fight is this Tory MP in Northamptonshire, who says her own Transport Secretary Philip Hammond needs to think again. I know that Philip is looking at all of the different arguments, so I'm hoping that he will conclude on balance that we need to go back to the drawing board and think about alternatives. So will he go back to the drawing board? Not a chance. I have to, I'm a minister, ministers have to act in the interests of the country as a whole. Uh, that means making tough decisions sometimes. There will always be local or sectional interests. From the garden of the house she bought 28 years ago, we met Raina Free, who had this message for the Prime Minister. If you go ahead with this line, causing untold misery to hard-working people, especially young people with mortgages, know what you're doing. But he could open a powder keg, which he won't be able to close. It's clear this will be costly for David Cameron in so many ways. Chris Shipp, ITV News, Buckinghamshire.